Okay, this first little video is just going to introduce you to what we're going to be doing during this double lesson. So we've got a math quiz template in Access, and this is going to work slightly differently to what we've sort of got in the past. So what there actually also is, is there are three text files that basically have store the information rather than using tables, and we're going to be reading and writing to those. And we've got a bunch of different modules where all the code has just been separated out just so we can easily find it in one place. How it runs is to start the program up we use the load form and that loads up a form, closes, processes a bit of information, loads in the data files and then opens up the main menu form. The bits in red are currently not working and that's what during the lesson you'll be implementing these. So at the moment we've got a lot of the score stuff, so adding a score works and there are no sort of close buttons on these which we should sort of have. Displaying the scores, when we run it, it just runs through a list of all the scores that are currently stored in the database. Not nice, it's just using message box, so you might want to look at ways you could improve, make that nicer. But main goals for today is you're going to be looking at how to sort the scores. Also, be able to load the player details, because that's not actually stored at this point. And then we can also, at the moment, find a player scores so if we enter in a code, one of the players a little bit of an error with the way it's displayed and it just shows all the scores for that player. Now how it's split up. The configuration, this is things that happen as soon as the program starts up. So we've got our type definitions, so we're storing a high score bit of information. We've got a general player and we've got some maths questions which is basically our quiz, so an ID for that, integers, Q1, Q2, very similar to what we've done with the arrays sorry, the access tables in the past, and then we've got our three arrays that store all this information. So as we go and add things, we're going to add things onto this array. Once that loads up, so that sets up the configuration, then it also goes and runs the load and save data. This is basically loading the players, loading the questions, loading the scores. At the moment, the load scores and load questions are complete. So we read in our file, Got our file details. We open it for input, so if this is for loading. We set our rows, we work out the number of rows that we're going to need to store. We create the array with the number of positions that we need. And then this goes through the whole file line by line, reads the line in, splits it up by commas, and then we store into the ID player and store score, so the three different objects. And then we loop around back to here. And then it goes all over and over again. We still minus row count, and we've got to make sure we close the file so we can deal with it later. And there's also the load questions. That's also complete and working, but load players isn't. That's one thing you have to work on and implement. We've got save scores. That works as well. Once again, similar idea. We've got the file we save to. This time we're going to output. We create the string that we want to, so we've got from the start, so position 0, to the upper bound of the scores. We output scores.id, ampersand, so append a comma, append scores position i, dot player, ampersand, append the score, print, it, print that all out, get the next one, finish it, we close it. Little message to say it's actually worked. Save questions works, save players isn't there, so you'll be using the save, what's in the save questions and save scores to work out how to implement save players. That's that first section. The players module, fairly empty, there's no add player. That's something you're going to have to implement using information that's actually in the add score in here. So it's going to be a very similar process to this. And also you need to do the add questions. So in order to do the add questions and add players, you can use a very similar process to what you've done in the past, or what already exists in the scores module. Now, what we've got is a few sort of sort scores, and that's what we're going to have a whole separate video on, is how to sort the scores. And then once you've got that working and implemented that, then you're going to try and sort them by ID. So this first one sorts them by the actual score that they achieved, so highest to lowest. And then we've got our 
so it's caused by the ID, so, or then the letter extension sorted them by the player name, so maybe alphabetically. Final thing we've got on this one is a working method that finds all the player scores. So it goes through, you give it the name of the player, and it will go through and find all the scores for that player. So you, you might want to modify this so you can actually, you know, find out their average score, or you could modify it to get, you know, the maximum or minimum for each player. That's things that you're going to implement. Obviously, we've also got, you know, our find max score implemented here. And we've got different ways of actually finding the maximum and minimum. So you can modify this code to actually go through and get the maximum and minimum calculated. So these are all lots of things you can implement. And that's what we're going to be doing. Quite a bit in here, but it should be nice and challenging, and have fun. Obviously make sure you download MathQuiz template, as well as the three text files, highscores.txt, questions.txt, and players.txt. Once you've got all those, you're going to be ready to begin.